Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's Monday morning, June 10th, and I am popping in because this is the morning I'm getting my tooth extracted. I am so super nervous. My stomach is hurting me, and I feel like I'm gonna throw up, but I know this is for the good. It needs to come out, Yay. and hopefully it is as painless as possible. So I have to be there in like 25 minutes, and I have to drop off Killian, so I'm gonna head out. I'll see you after the extraction. Okay, so it's done. <laughs> um, it's this side. I'm all numb. Probably I tell by my mouth. Um, I'm packed up. I had packing on for about an hour. Took it out, had a lot of bleeding, put more packing in. Um, so I'm just waiting for, hopefully, fingers crossed, a blood clot, clots this time. <laughs> so I don't get a dry socket. And I am just relaxing. I'm so tired and I'm dizzy um, from the lidocaine. And so I am resting for the rest of the day and doing a little bit of work where I can sit. But I'll come in when I'm not talking like this. Hello, so it is 11.45 and it is, as you can tell I'm still numb. Um, it's 11.45 and I had my procedure at 8. I went in and they gave me the shots. They didn't actually pull the tooth, I don't think, until about 8.20 or 8.30. Um, so as you can see, it's a few hours later. I was getting a little bit of pain. I had to read gauze. Um, and because bleeding, like I took the initial gauze off after about an hour and 15 minutes and there's blood. <laughs> so I put another gauze in and, um, um, waited it out. Um, before putting the other gauze in, I also took a couple of Advil because I wasn't going to do the gauze at first and using the liquid gel. Um, and there was a lot of pain. So I used some more gauze and I, um, bit down on it and rested and the pain was going away so i know i did the right thing um i left that on for a good 30 or 45 minutes took it off and the bleeding is minimal so that's good looks like there's a clot in there good and um i think the advil's kicked in to kind of relieve it there's areas of like my jaw and stuff that have started to release the um numbing agent but my lips and the actual gum is still really really um numb <laughs> so i think i remember being numb when i had the lidocaine shots before um i had them on the side on the upper section um i think it was like 2 30 before i felt like fine when i had my wisdom teeth i don't remember but i think that it took about that long too for the um lidocaine or novocaine or whatever they used to Fade. Um, in the meantime, I've made my lunch. My lunch is a smoothie. Um, I had bought strawberries and apparently I'm not supposed to have seed, the little seeds. I completely forgot about that. So I had bananas. So I put bananas, um, peanut butter. I had gotten, I had gotten banana yogurt. So I have more banana. Um, so it's kind of like a banana yogurt smoothie. So anyway, like I was saying, um, bananas, peanut butter, banana, yogurt, and almond milk all in there. So it should be good. Um, right, so I'm gonna be sipping on that throughout the afternoon. I could take super teeny um, sips because from here over, I'm numb. Here over, I'm not. And then of course, I'm keeping food out, away from this area. So the tooth, um, it was my second molar and it's the one that I have been talking to you about that has, um, started to chip off and then had become like completely loose. Um, she was actually, even under mild anesthesia, like before she put a third set of shots in, she was able to just pull the rest of it, like to chip off the rest of the top of the tooth that was chipped. That's how like loose it was. It was like literally like one false move and it would be off. Um, and then she had to dig down a little bit to get the rest of it out. Um, I guess there wasn't much for her to work with at the very top of the gum to kind of get it out. Um, that's my understanding from what she said to me. 
So I was just glad it came out. She works solely usually. I thought she had um, an assistant with her when she did that because last time I had it done she did but maybe it was because I was pregnant last time they had two people. I'm not sure. Um, but it all worked out well. So far so good. I'm hoping to keep the blood clot this time. Um, when I got my wisdom teeth out last year I ended up one of the um, I got a dry socket in one of the sockets and I'm really hoping I don't get it this time. I did not get it when I was pregnant before. So this is the third time I've had teeth removed, by the way. I had this upper wisdom taken when I was pregnant with Killian. I had three, the rest of the three wisdom teeth removed last year. I had, I vlogged on that. And now this one, and this is my second molar. The second molar was decayed um, and had been blocked by the wisdom tooth. And it's just taken me a long time to get myself mentally and, um, schedule wise prepared to get this done so this will be done and then we're going to consider re consider whether or not I need an implant I have overcrowding big time sorry my lips are super dry see so there's crossover here so I might just see how things settle because it might just settle this out when I had my wisdom teeth in, it settled it out a little bit more, so maybe it will settle more, I don't know. But I have a couple of months to kind of watch how things are going. Anyway, I will see you in a little bit and give you an update. All right, so hello, and um, I don't think I ever gave you an update after yesterday afternoon. I got really busy, I went to a training last night, so I got kind of overwhelmed and I can't remember if I gave you an update. So um, this is my update here, so this is about, um, this is a day and a half or so after the surgery. So I had it, um, today is Tuesday and it's about 6.30 at night. Um, I had the surgery yesterday at 8 a.m. So this is like day two. Um, hoping everything's okay there. Everything feels pretty good. Um, every so often I take an ibuprofen because um, the jaw. So it's like right here, the jaw line feels sore. Um, and then I think the injection sites feel sore because every so often I feel something that feels like poke, like a poking pain. Um, that makes me think, oh my God, my makeup looks really weird in this. It honestly doesn't look this weird normally. Um, it feels like poking pain. And I've been checking to see um, if it looks like the um, socket is full and that it's like the blood cut stayed. Sometimes I feel like it looks like it did. Other times I feel like it looks like it didn't. <laughs> so I feel like I don't know what's going on in there, but um, so far so good. And so I think, um, I'm hoping like if to buy tomorrow, I feel good still um, and everything will be fine. And I expect that I'll be feeling good and everything will be fine tomorrow. So that's gonna be awesome. Um, I'm eating a little bit of food here and there, um, not just the liquid food this, at, at this point. So I had like um, some soft fish and a little bit of rice and I eat the rice on the side. I don't know if I'm even supposed to have the rice right now. So that kind of scares me that I eat that, but I'm just so hungry that um, the rice at least is soft. I'm just worried it might stick in, into any areas over there, but at least the rice is soft and I ate it on this side and I didn't let it travel to the other side, so I hope it's okay. I've also been rinsing my mouth out with salt water um, after I eat, um, just to kind of clean anything out that might be in there, just like a gentle, gentle rinse of salt water. And I'm not, still not supposed to spit out, so I just kind of let the water drain out of my mouth and um and that's it so anyway i just wanted to update you on that i am going to wrap up this vlog for now um and i will certainly give you more updates as i go in my next vlog so you know how i'm doing so thank you so much for visiting my channel and going through yet another tooth extraction with me <laughs> and i hope you have a really great day please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time thank you Bye bye